Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike from the Hardcover Comic here today. I wanted to talk about a new image series that I've checked out recently. Um, well, it's not new. It's been, it's been ongoing for a couple of years now, um, but I just recently found it um, easily one of the biggest surprises for me. Um, I'm, I've really, you know, I've been catching up on my image lately and I've been realizing just how much I've been missing. Um, there are so many fantastic series that um, range in, in themes and storylines and characters. Wow. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm glad I got to do this video series because it gave me an excuse to, you know, start looking into these series and start trying out new things. So uh, w without further ado, let's get into it. One of my uh, new favorite series, um, Ice Cream Man. So Ice Cream Man is a a series, an image comic series written by W. Maxwell Prince with artwork by Martin Morazzo. Um, both names that I'm relatively unfamiliar with. Um, but, you know, W. Maxwell Prince, um, he hasn't worked on too many comics. Uh, he did work on um, Electric Sublime at IDW with Martin Morazzo. Um, and aside from that, I think he's done a couple other books that I'm not very familiar with. Martin Morazzo has worked on a few image series like the great pacific um like i mentioned electric sublime so he's done a few series uh, his artwork's great real crisp real clean and basically these two gentlemen have created an anthology series called ice cream man um if you don't know what an anthology is it's a whole bunch of different stories all revolving under the same title and in this case they all revolve around this ice cream man character and his various roles in this multiverse that is uh the ice cream man series from image comics it's fantastic i'm typically not a huge fan of anthology series because it's very tough to consistently knock it out of the park with one and done stories but what what this creative team is doing is um surprising to me it's unheard of to me i'm enjoying this series so damn much the covers are fantastic very colorful very bright and exciting but the book is so dark and horrific and creepy it's one of those books where you just don't know what you're going to see when you turn the next page um, uh, Mor Morazzo's uh, artwork is fantastic. Like I mentioned, he's really clean and crisp with his lines, uh, and you can see that in the covers here. The co th so, since it is an anthology, you also do get a dynamic range of themes within each uh, within each issue, right? So, one issue will be a little more horrific, uh, another one will be a little more crazy. Um, and, and just to give a little sneak peek, I'll talk about the first four issues. Um, in the f in the first issue, it follows this boy, uh, you know, who visits the ice cream man and goes home and you start getting all these interesting facts about uh, spider bites and you start wondering what, what all this information is, right? Coming clean into a series. Um, and you find out that, uh, that something's happened uh, to this boy's parents uh, that he's not aware of for whatever reason. Um, and, and it really gives you a, a feel for what the series is going to be just from the get-go. It's a very uh, Stephen King type of uh, vibe, although it's not entirely like Stephen King. I don't want to just lump um, W. Maxwell Prince into that category because I think his writing's fantastic. He has so much range in terms of what he's writing. The issues don't always feel... They, they rarely feel repetitive. It rarely feels like he's revisiting similar or identical themes. And, you know, it, it's just... It's one of those books where seriously you you turn the next page and you don't know what to expect and there's a lot of horror involved there's a lot of uh, a gore and nastiness involved as well in the series um if you're a fan of horror series uh, right off the bat you should probably just stop this video and go check it out if you're a fan of anthologies i highly suggest you do the same thing um like so up until this point we've got um I believe it's 16 issues. I'm, I'm, I've only read the first 16, um, but you know they're solicited to go through up to 19. But um, sorry, guys, I'm jumping all over the place. Um, so in issue number two, we follow again this. We, well, not again. We see the ice cream man again, but we follow uh, this this heroin addict who's trying to basically get that last fix, and um, you know her 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 boyfriend's overdosing. Uh, it's a very tragic story, and it, it ties into some other characters. Um, in the third issue, uh, we see a, we see a, a, a one-hit wonder, basically um, a guy who who created this one rock hit, um, and, and he goes into a trance and starts imagining all these trippy things. Uh, ground control to Major Tom, um, really cool stuff, really really fun. It's just interesting the way things are done. Um, in in issue four, we see, uh, you know, I, I I won't get too much into it, but issue four is real messed up, a, a real testament to uh, to humankind to mankind. Um, guys, I, I don't want to give away too much because it's, again, all these stories are one and done, right? So I don't want to say one thing about one issue 
give away that whole issue. I highly recommend checking it out. It, these are very surprising stories. Again, like I mentioned, Stephen King kind of vibe. Um, I don't know if you ever watched the animated show Freaky Stories. A little more mature than that, of course. But um, it's it's fantastic. I can't wait to keep reading this. This book has become one of the books that I, I, I do want to bind if they don't ever release uh, oversized hardcovers for it. I would absolutely love to bind this series and have it because it's so damn good to read and so much fun to enjoy. Um, they do really creative stuff. Issue 10, a lot of the issue is all in Spanish because it takes place in Mexico. And I was, you know, I was, I was reading through it and I thought maybe uh, I, I had downloaded the wrong version of it. Turns out that's just how it was. And so I had to start translating things. It's a real fun ride. I, again, you never know what to expect with each month as it passes. A lot of fun, great artwork, great storytelling. This is a really unique book. Just for that fact alone, I highly recommend you guys check it out. Give the first four issues a shot. If you don't like any of them, give the next four issues a shot. Eventually, you'll realize how wrong you were about disliking the first four issues. Um, let me know below what you guys thought of the series if you've read it. Um, if you do end up checking it out thanks to this video, let me know what you thought. I'm very curious. I'll be definitely keeping up with this series, and uh, I'm going to obviously convince Matt to read it next. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at the Hardcover Comic. Um, email us at thehardcovercomic at gmail.com for any questions or dust jacket requests or whatever you may have. And um, yeah, thank you for tuning in. This is Mike. Until next time, as always, you stay classy, Internet.